In the heart of Saudi Arabia, a land renowned for its expansive sand deserts and formidable climate changes, a remarkable transformation has taken root. Today, we share an incredible tale of how Saudi Arabia has defied its limits, a story that surpasses nature's harshest challenges and has astonished scientists worldwide. Surviving the heat and aridity in a land characterized by scorching heat and minimal rainfall, Saudi Arabia defies expectations by producing more food than it requires. With just around 2.3 inches of annual precipitation, concentrated mainly between December and February, this desert nation starkly contrasts Germany's 27.6 inches. Temperature extremes are the norm, with the thermometer soaring to a blistering 122 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and plummeting below freezing at night. Despite these unforgiving conditions, Saudi Arabia boasts a unique capability. Merely 2% of its territory comprises cities, with the capital Riyadh housing about 6.5 million of its nearly 35 million inhabitants. Notably, 85% of the population resides in urban centers. Astonishingly, the country doesn't rely on foreign food supplies. Rather, it produces surplus grain, fruits, and dairy products. Exporting these bounties to other nations. Desert Miracles As we observe the landscape from above, a perplexing question emerges. How did a tapestry of greenery flourish in this arid desert? To comprehend this astonishing transformation, we must rewind time a few decades. In 1973, the Yom Kippur War erupted unexpectedly, with Arab nations Egypt and Syria attacking Israel. While the conflict's direct impact was known, its repercussions extended beyond. Arab states seeking leverage slashed oil production, causing prices to surge. Meanwhile, Saudi Arabia, heavily reliant on food imports due to the oil shock, anticipated potential repercussions. Faced with the risk, Saudi Arabia embarked on a quest for food independence. Interestingly, Saudi Arabia's treasure trove lies not only in oil riches but also in water, though not in the form of visible lakes or rivers, concealed in vast underground reservoirs. Desert's Agricultural Marvel with official approval, agriculture tapped into the vast underground water stores, setting the stage for a desert metamorphosis. The Wadi Shiran region's artificial irrigation system showcases the colossal scale of these mega projects. Over 25 years, a 386 square mile farmland emerged, surpassing Berlin's 344 square miles. From 1980 to 1993, Saudi Arabia's irrigated land grew by over 260%, mainly cultivating wheat. This unexpected shift transformed the desert state, once synonymous with oil, into the world's sixth largest wheat exporter. However, taming desert fields brought significant challenges. In dry, harsh climates, water had to be sourced from depths of 0.62 miles. Saudis employed automated, wide-reaching mobile sprinkler systems for water supply, incurring substantial costs. Although Saudi Arabia's production costs for a ton of wheat around $500 exceed exceeded the global market price of $120, their initial wheat boom, while fading, partially fulfilled the dream of self-sufficiency. The desert nation still exports substantial food, including a 2019 potato harvest surpassing even Ireland's depleting Saudi Arabia's vital water reserves. The notion of unrestricted groundwater extraction leads to an undeniable conclusion. It's an unenviable approach. Like oil, water is a finite resource. Saudi Arabia's reliance on ancient water, often called fossil water due to its age exceeding 30,000 years, raises serious concerns. The region's scant rainfall falls short of refilling these reserves, highlighted by a United Nations report showing a rapid decline in groundwater levels, with some areas experiencing a 20-foot drop per year. Glimpsing into the future reveals a grim scenario, with a potential complete depletion within a few decades. This issue has been discussed previously. The 1990s saw the first wells drying up, reducing grain cultivation. However, this shift didn't significantly curb overall water consumption, as attention shifted to producing animal feed and vegetables, exacerbating the strain on groundwater resources. Experts 
Emirates view Saudi Arabia's attempt to reshape its environment as a costly failure, with projects squandering valuable resources. Despite this, the allure of profiting from decades of cultivating the desert has hindered a change in mindset. Only in 2008 did the government decide to withdraw from wheat production gradually and drastically cut fodder production, impacting natural agriculture. As Saudi dairy behemoth Al Marai looks abroad for cattle feed, a counterproductive cycle unfolds, compelling other nations to tap into their dwindling groundwater supplies due to the water intensive nature of the chosen fodder plant, alfalfa. Saudi Arabia's Surprising Prehistoric Past Contrary to today's dusty image, the Saudi Nefud Desert was once a flourishing paradise, as groundbreaking research reveals. This ancient haven, existing around 400,000 years ago, attracted our ancestors with its six extensive lakes and earliest signs of modern humans and Neanderthals. Luminescence dating, a sophisticated technique, determined that the oldest sediment samples date back over 400,000 years, while the most recent lake vanished only 55,000 years ago. This lush landscape witnessed not only early Homo sapiens but also Neanderthals, sparking the possibility of cross-species interactions and occasional interbreeding. Such astonishing findings offer a glimpse into a larger archaeological treasure trove beneath the Arabian sands. Just a decade ago, sites older than 10,000 years were unheard of on the vast Arabian peninsula, adding to the intrigue surrounding surrounding our ancestors' journey from Australia to Asia, a fascinating yet unsolved mystery of history. A remarkable story unfolds in Saudi Arabia's deserts, a testament to human ingenuity conquering nature's challenges. From defying climate odds to uncovering ancient paradises, it's a journey of resilience, innovation, and captivating history. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please click the like and bell buttons. Stay tuned for our upcoming video. Take care until then.